Good evening and welcome back to the Republic News Network. I'm Captain Shack, and tonight, our top stories. With every passing year since the founding of the Grand Republic, we have reached further and farther. Republic outposts now orbit systems in every direction, with the furthest outpost now being the Starfall system. It hasn't always been an easy road. Casualties aboard the Havania when it was attacked by an alien life form in the Curus system was the first time we had lost citizens to the void from hostile alien activity. Hopefully, it'll be the last, as our understanding of the universe grows. But we've made discoveries, unique energy sources like the high energy radiation of the Saldar sun, or the strange gas that makes up the mid-range bands of the gas giant in the Far Dawn system. A gas that's high energy density could be used for new weapons technology that's being developed by Trident. With each new discovery, the people are swayed. It's affecting everything in our lives, food production, jobs, and of course, politics. New factions have cropped up like the Electoral Freedom Watch, run by Dr. Rathan, fighting on the Senate 4 for equality and justice for all denizens of our homeworld and its colonies. Another faction founded after the Havania incident, called the Alien Tolerance Institute, led by Governor Prax, is a response to all those voicing and clamoring for violence against the strange alien life forms who attacked our brave Pathfinders. Darian Prax speaks of a calm response to the new life forms and seeks to understand it. He and his followers believe the attack was most likely a defensive response and not one of outright aggression. The Republic Navy's labeled the Curus system off limits until further notice. It's been two months since we received our first images of the massive ring-like structure now known as Sanctuary. The automated signal that the structure continues to transmit warns away any who approach in an attempt to protect its supposed non-intelligent inhabitants. The only problem is the radio waves we've detected emanating faintly from the ring's habitable sections. Each section the size of a small planet. Those same waves seem to be a sign of civilization. Not only that, but the date of the automated transmission that cites as its construction date is estimated to be almost 75 million years old. Whatever life was originally brought aboard so long ago could have evolved into a proper sentient civilization by this point. Even more worrisome is that same civilization could be trapped behind the massive station's defenses. Once meant to protect it, has now turned the structure into a floating prison of sorts. Though the Senate has begun debates on what to do and how to handle the situation in Sanctuary, the reality is, such a station's simple existence dictates that we don't have the technology or the knowledge necessary to affect it in any meaningful way, yet. I'm Captain Shack with tonight's broadcast. Thank you for watching. Together, we explore the stars. Hello, ladies and gentlemen, Captain Shack here. Welcome back to Stellaris, season seven? I think we're on the Republic, the Galactic Republic campaign. Uh, I know I've been gone for over a week. If you hadn't seen uh, on Twitter or all the other places that I announced it, I was at Star Wars Celebration last week, so I didn't have time to do a Stellaris episode, but we are finally back. Now, let's unpause the game and get our empire growing. Now, we had some fun stuff, as you saw in the intro. We had the ring world of sanctuary that we've discovered, and we know how, how big were, yeah, yeah. Sanctuary core by itself is a 10K military fleet. So uh, most of you in the comment section of the last episode were like, Shaq, you've got to go there and you've got to free those people. Uh, or the, that, that civilization that has, has built up there. So that's going to be one of our main goals eventually. But we are not there yet. There was also, actually I want to check this out because I read this in the comment section. I wasn't sure if it's true. If we look at, uh, what was it, Empire Sprawl, uh, there was something about uh, da, 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 leader cost, leader upkeep campaign da, 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 is a measure of the territorial expansion of your empire from the form of controlled systems, colonies, and districts. High empire sprawl. So somebody said that if you lower the number of, of hyperspace lanes connecting into your empire, uh, it will actually lower your hyperspace, your, your your empire sprawl. Now I don't know how true that is, but they were saying you should go in and you should take these um, these little dead end systems over, and it will actually help your sprawl and not harm it. Uh, it's a district systems and colonies is what it says. Oh, cur maybe courier network. I uh, know that's that's the thing we picked up so we could have more empire sprawl. 
So I don't know how true that is. I mean, maybe we can do it for science. We can figure it out for science. There are a few things we wanted to pick up anyways. There's like free, there's free power over here. There's some minerals over here. Um, there's some research that needs to be done. There's also gas over here though. And we are collecting uh, a decent amount of Tabata gas is the modded resource that we've added into the game. Uh, that we're actually gonna be able to, uh, via the market, we can actually sell. Uh, how much do we sell this for? Okay, not bad. Uh, if we if we collect more, and there's five there, so it, that has possibilities. Um, I think we are going to to, to just kind of get rid of these uh, these open areas, you know, clean up the our area of space. So uh, let's go for this one first. You go ahead, build a station. Uh, I did hear you guys in the comment section saying, "Shack, make sure that you build them in order and you don't chain command your construction ships to uh, build lots of space stations because uh, it won't refund the money." So if I sold, if I went out to like, let's say. He took uh, Tabor and Starope, and I told him, okay, build a station here, build a station here. It would charge me the extra influence because I don't have a, my territory doesn't already connect there, and it costs more to take a star over that's farther away from your capital and from your territory. So, uh, interesting, weird little thing. Good to know, though. We definitely want to take over Eola, which we're probably going to have to rename. Um, I did get some new names from you guys in the comments section. We've also added in a couple of ship captains from the Patreon list. So welcome the Silver Hawk under Captain Leos. Um, and the no cow level, because apparently there is no cow level. Uh, what do we want to do? Well, let's... Um, it's been, it, I'm getting back into the groove of it. It's been a bit. So our Grand Republic capital still growing. Remember, we are having a fast population growth rate. That's our whole plan here. Uh, some of you were like, Shaq, you should go for robotic technology. I think you have to go through exosuits for that and uh, and and start building those. Like, eh, well, yeah, I guess we could. Wow, all of our science ships are just sitting around. Let's give some orders here. Uh, that's right, I gave the Havania orders. The Havania was damaged, by the way, not destroyed in the last episode. It actually managed to retreat from the uh, the alien force that was there that I think we're still researching. Uh, which direction should we explore? We have every science ship and a bunch of directions we can't actually go because of space amoebas. You have found a bunch of hyperspace lands back here. Okay. Right. And there's, like, there's no connecting point either. So I'm going to have you... Go ahead and backtrack. Let's start scanning down the territory uh, that's actually bordering us. I'd like to know what's here. So I'm just gonna give you three orders. Go ahead and scan these down. Uh, construction ship, construction ship. Havania, come on back. Hmm. Can't go through Sanctuary because of this. This is actually gonna be a, it will defend us, more or less, is what I think. So nothing should be able to come through here. So this should be a defended entrance. Um, that leaves this area, really, as wherever other alien races could come from. I'm going to have you backtrack as well. Go ahead and start scanning. I had you guys going out and exploring, just so we could see what was out there. Evan Hawk, uh, you've kind of finished all of your work back here, so why don't we dispatch you? Let me get on pause. Why don't we dispatch you to, uh, well, hmm. How about this direction? We'll have you go here. Go there. That's a long flight, but we're not going to be going through Sanctuary anytime soon. All right. Construction ships are getting their thing done. You are... Knowledge you have no orders. What are you building? You're claiming that. Construction Excellent. completed. Pause for a second now that we own this. I want to give you orders to go ahead and build those mining stations and claim that sector for us. Uh, I think that system's going to have to get a new name. To bore... To ban a gas crystals, but we can't do anything with them until we get the uh, very heavy turbo laser technology. Hmm... That is a nice bit of minerals, though. And we have to grab it if we want to go farther, and there's, like, dark matter out here, and that new element out there as well. Hello, research. How are you? Gene clinics are finished. If we build these on a planet, these will increase our population growth by 10%. Definitely something we're going to go with. Continuing to stack that population growth in all of our worlds. Uh, and job production. Uh, what is that? Um, hmm. You're going to be eating up more of our consumer goods. All right. Well, new research. We will put one of these on at least the uh, the capital. Straight up unity per month. Oh. Oh. Hi. Base production of farms. Really? Oh. What does this edict do? It costs energy instead of influence. Wait, what? Uh, unlocks additional edicts called campaigns that cost... Yeah, but what does it do? 
Oh, it's just additional campaigns. Gotcha. Ah, I kind of want the hydroponics bay. I want to put those on, um, what was it? Pandora was our farming world, right? No. That was the one that we were going to make our farming world and realized that was wrong. Uh, no, so it's actually a uh, bastion is going to be a farming world. Uh-huh. What is this? Building slot. We're not going to build anything on there right now. You should have enough jobs, I believe. You have two jobs. <laughs> Okay, maybe not so much. Going back to the Grand Republic, how are you doing on jobs? You have four jobs available, and you have nine housing. Let's... Ah, oh, I can't build it. I can't build there. There's something in the way. Uh, we gotta wait till we get to 35 before we can build it, and then we'll put a farm... Not a farm down. The, um... The, 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 the... The, 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 the technology we just got that I'm totally failing on. Uh, we do also have growth encouragement for 25%. It's only for 400 days left? Have we burned through a thousand days already? Oh, wow. I guess we have. I guess we have. Fair enough. Structure ship, what are you doing? Hmm. Mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. Let's see. I don't know how you backtracked. You know what? Yeah, backtrack to here. Go ahead and build the star base. And then go. Oh, that's all I want you to do for now. Just go do that. Uh, so how's our imperial sprawl? Our empire sprawl currently is 45. Did it, did it go down because we got rid of this? No. It's at 45, let's remember that and see what happens when we can, uh, take over this, this area right here and see what happens. We need to grab this too. We do have a little bit of trade value. We don't have any access to this trade value yet and we do have a lot of research that we can do. Speaking of research, what button is it? F2 is the shortcut. Um, we are researching dimensional probes. No, we're doing space amoeba still. Good grief, this was a long research. But it hopefully will allow us to go through the hostile territory here, I think, maybe? We'll find out, we'll find out in 24 months. Uh, how are you guys doing? You have one job available. And I think I'm gonna make you a city district and keep building up our trade value. And you guys talked about this in chat, and I agree with you. If we continue to build up our trade value, that's a pretty good idea. Trade and power? Trade value is kind of crap right now. Hmm. We got to get you more jobs. The ticker jobs. All right, let's get more jobs. Power production is going to be an ongoing requirement for us. We're going to build more. Get it done. Awesome. Unpause. Evan Hawk's already on the move. Construction ships are getting work done. How are you doing? Oh, you still want us to make new contact. I was thinking we could use the extra uh, influence from their approval. All we have to do is find someone. So, do we want to just send a science ship? Who's the lucky science ship gonna be if we were gonna do it just off into space? Probably the Havania. Um, I don't have anything against you, Rachel Bean. I just need to find an alien completed. race and start making those um, connections. We need to start getting those. Uh... All right, hey, you've completed that. Did you finish yours? You're still in route. All right, you've got a minute. Why aren't we getting any trade value from Pandora? Any, any particular reason why we're not getting this trade value? Isn't it part of our, I guess it has to be connected to the capital, doesn't it? All right, well, we'll continue uh, until we can upgrade the, oh, there's another election coming up. So what do we have for elections? Let's see, orbital research. The reward is a, Wait, what? Six months worth of unity. Really? For orbital research platforms? You're probably gonna win and you've got... <sighs> no, I'll just let it go. We don't have the influence to be spending on that right now because we're expanding at the moment. So let it be. How are you doing on jobs? Two jobs, two housing, could build more. Farming? We don't have farms, right? We're still doing that research. System survey concluded. Yeah, we just started that farm uh, hydroponics research. So, why don't we just add another farm? And the reason I'm going so ham with the farms is so we can get this up over a thousand and we can keep popping the, uh, what, it, we use it on the Galactic Republic's planet. This right, oops, get a hair. This right here, growth encouragement. 25% extra growth encouragement. Sadly, uh, we're not gonna be there at a thousand to re-up this just yet. Is it, it's a thousand, isn't it? Mm, do, 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 do. Let's get those out of the way. Uh, 
Distribute rec luxury goods. What does that do? Immigration pull. Yeah. Okay. Uh, planetary defense options. There it is. Yeah, it's a thousand food. God, it's a lot of food. I mean, we could pay for it, but... Our chancellor's reign has come to an end, and their election campaign promises unfulfilled. Nope. They're awful. Uh, we didn't expand fast enough. Let's Rethan has uh, been elected chancellor of the Galactic Republic. See the situation log. What is... Oh, look at the face. <laughs> Indeed. Uh, I think it picks from a pool of faces, and it's funny because they got the, uh, the, the would-be emperor. I love it. I love it. All right, you're almost done. I want to see if this makes any difference if what I read in the chat is... So... Uh, all right, well, we're at 84%. The sprawl is at 45. We'll see if that drops down. We can pick up our next point into discovery. Survey speed increased by 35%. Research alternatives. Ooh, research alternatives versus speed. I'm going to go with survey speed. That's why we really wanted this. So we can explore a little bit more when we get farther out there. Uh, you're almost done. Construction completed. Are you going to drop... Construction completed. Now it went to 48 instead of 45. So I don't know where that came from, that it would actually lower it. It had something to do with your average speed. Maybe that's from an old version. Maybe they were quoting an old version. Uh, I do like that we filled in these, but it's a little sad that we've used up some of our Imperial Sprawl to do that, so we can only go to 50 right now. We could go above it, but it'll start costing us a lot in different um, down different avenues. All right, what do we got? Construction's complete there. Excellent. Let's get that we extra power coming in. Anomaly. We've got an anomaly. It's a fairly fast research anomaly. We briefly detected some unusual energy readings emanating from this moon. Uh, it might have been a glitch in our system, or it could be a sign of something more. Go ahead and research it. Do we not have music? There we go. I must have paused it while I was, uh, oh, I know, when I was, re when I was recording the intro video for this. Uh, we have some other research that needs to be finished. What are you, what are, uh, you're doing that already. How are we doing on this? 13 more months? Oh, I hope you're worth it, because we haven't been doing any physics research this entire time because of that. Where your research is going to be done in almost no time. I don't know. Does it feel like our we're not getting a, a lot of great worlds here? Knowledge not a lot is we can use to the moment, universe. It feels like. What do we got? We picked up our extra research, 20% straight into engineering. Uh, coil guns, plus one to housing, ooh, housing distance, or space torpedoes. Hmm, coil guns. I think I'm gonna stick with economy. And I think I'm gonna get the city housing district to get a little bit more housing out of our, uh, out of our territories. It's gonna take a little while for that to finish. 5,000, it takes 107 completed. months. We definitely need to get more in the way of Research points coming in. We just don't have anything. We can turn this off so we can see exactly what we've got going. Uh, I can't do anything with that until we get moat stabilization. Hmm. I guess these two sectors are probably the most valuable that we can go after. Because we can sell the Tabana. We can get the physics research from here. All right. Head over here. I, I want that power too. I want that extra power output. Should be good. Sp policies. Let me see something real fast. Don't we have economic policies that we can mess around with? Ah, uh, we can get more alloys if we go for militarized economy, so we can pull more out of this. Uh, or civilian, which means we'll get less alloys, but we'll actually get more consumer goods from our jobs. Uh, and consumer goods, what do those sell for? Dun 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 dun. A thousand, fifteen hundred. They're selling for two point six at the moment. Interesting. We'll hold. We'll hold. And we'll build up a bit of a stockpile. What's our max? Yeah, fifty-one thousand power we can hold. Yeah, I think we're fine. Uh, and you, sixteen thousand. Yeah. The magnetic field of Oblion Three Alpha experienced a complete reversal while it was being observed by the RS Havania. This rare event has intercharged the position of the moon's magnetic poles. Fortunately, it is already recorded by our sensors. Okay. Some extra physics research, we'll take that. Uh, and everybody else is already back on their research paths. Good, good. Excellent. Construction ships. I mean, I would love to go to our, if I open up our, not sectors. 
space station. I'd love to pick up another trade hub. That way this will reach a little bit farther out and we can start getting the extra trade from these two. Uh, Galactic Republic, what is your trade looking like right now? Eh, it's all right. The jobs available are three. I will hold. Hold! Don't feel like we have got a lot coming in at the moment. Construction completed. You're both running. You're not doing anything. All right, come back. Hmm. Honestly, that'd be better to go this way and this way. We can start selling minerals we need to. Debating on where to expand, what direction to go. Because we're about to hit our sprawl cap. We are going to hit it. We're at 49 now. Evasive maneuvers. Oh shit, pause. What is that? That is another space amoeba. Okay. Retreat, abort, abort. You should be on runaway. Yeah, the Ebonhawk is on the way out of here. Gone before I could click on him. Indeed. System survey concluded. Now I wonder, if we wanted to, we could use the extra credit income. And I know I was saving this in case of emergencies, but we could use the extra credit income to buy some food and get that 25 growth rate up again. Uh, constantly building up. Constantly building our population up. System survey concluded. 16 worker pops, 13 specialists. You need to focus on getting more worker pops. That's how you get your base minerals and resources, food and all that. We have detected Science ship. anomaly. What do you got? We are picking up life signs coming from somewhere within the interior of this asteroid. This definitely warrants a closer investigation. It's a fairly fast research. Go ahead and do it. Uh, and one of you has finished their job. What did you find? Holy crap, 11 Tabana? All right, that's interesting. Since we're going with the uh, the blasters, Tabana's gonna be really valuable for making warships. Hmm. But we're getting really far out there. Even to get to that, we'd have to doop, 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 take all that territory. That seems a bit much. And I'm, what, would it, what would it cost me? If we just grabbed this by itself, it would cost 300 unity to call tips on that one sector. <laughs> I think I'm gonna just send you into space and see what you find. Like, here's your mission. Go explore. Don't scan anymore. Just go explore and find whoever's out there. Not both of you, though. I just want the Havania. The Hawk, uh, I actually want you to continue to scan. So go survey the system. Go survey this system. There you, go. you guys need to spread it out a bit. Good, good. Got some income coming in, looking all right. Got our alloys building up. Could start building up a little bit of our military again. Um, that's has possibilities. The project has concluded. Amoeba's pacified. It finally finished. Temporarily reframing from venting certain emissions from our vessel's reactor cores while in the immediate vicinity of space amoeba's flocks seems to be enough to not arouse their ire. With this new protocol in place, they no longer pose a threat and we have been able to study them at close range. Oh wait, we can, we can scan them? We have to do another research project or what? Uh, mm, okay, pause for a second. We have a lot of anomalies to scan down, which is what we're gonna do. We are, oh, is this the score on the whole map? We're ranked two now? Nice! The Galactic Republic, I love our image right there. Uh, economy strength 415. So there you go, there's a little bit of a recap of like where we're at. I don't know, um, if it's comparing us to any other races right now, if we haven't identified them, if we haven't met them yet. Kind of cool though that we've been ranked. Uh, but, but, what what was that? I didn't read, I didn't read the thing. Is it a re, it's probably a research that we could do. Uh, well, let's find out, was it F2 that I said? And then, no, F3, F1, F all the buttons. No, I want uh, research and technology. What are you researching right now? 
automatic exploration, but you're too busy researching some, uh, the dimensional probe from the, uh, the asteroid that's got a dimensional hole in it. Some kind of wormhole, right? How much longer is that gonna take? I really want to get my physics research back going again. Despite the recent skill improvements owing to the accumulation of experience by CT1995, seems to be approaching the limits of his abilities. Are you maxed out, CT? Holy, how old are you? Hey, hop, pause for just a hot minute. Where, what, what ship was CT assigned to? This one. Arrested development, oh. Oh no. You hit the limit of your capabilities. Womp, 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 womp. Uh, I need a ship to go back. And it isn't gonna be the Havania. I need a ship to go back and actually do the research for these, like, the things that we've left behind, you know? Uh, and hey, we can pass through these sectors now. So you know what, that's what I'm gonna do. Go research the anomaly in this system, come on back, and then we'll send you down south. Asteroid Fauna. Amazingly, while conducting their survey of 49F89T, the crew of the, the, the Don't Shoot Me picked up several life signs coming from within an asteroid. There appears to be a colony of large burrowing worm-like um, lithovores within the rock, which have been riddled with, uh, the rocks have riddled with tunnels. Cool. A little bit of extra research that can come from that planet. Not super useful for us since we're so far back here. But it is what it is. Construction ships, you guys are on the move, claiming new territories, that's fine. All is right. All is right with the world, we're good. Building up our resources. Oh, let them to ban a gas up here. Good grief. So we can pass by space memes. That means we can actually go out to the nebula and see what's out here if we want to. And we do have a ship doing the scanning here. We can go that direction. It's amazing we haven't run into any any empires yet. Watch, there's gonna be one like right here or something stupid. Like one jump out that we haven't gone to because we couldn't get past the amoebas. I thought that we'd get, and maybe there there's a, maybe it's a different um, event, but I thought we'd get all systems with like, with space amoebas instantly scanned or something. I might be thinking of something else, but that's what I was expecting. I, I could have just fought them. We probably should have just fought them. We could have built, that would have given us a reason to build up a fleet and gone in there and kick the crap out of them. But I guess it gives us early game defense with having something in the way like that. I don't know. I don't know, all right, unpause. Um, science ship, how are you doing? Scanning, we're fine. Uh, not a whole lot we can do. Claiming a little bit more territory. Uh, this is going to bring us over our empire sprawl. Womp womp. Ever so slightly. I think it's worth it for the resources. Da, da, dun, dun. Construction Definitely want completed. to scan this down there. Excellent, go ahead and grab up the mines there. Quickly. What we haven't found is any other colonizable worlds. All these sectors that we've scanned in that one world. Unless you count the des uh, this desert world. Which you don't really. 20%. Yeah, meh. 18 city districts, good grief. I guess there's research where you can turn a planet into an entire city, Coruscant style, uh, through one of the uh, Unity readings registered. Ascension perks, but holy crap, very hard, okay. There are signs of activity of an ancient precursor civilization on the asteroid. Ah, this is another precursor one, okay. It's gonna take a long freaking time. System survey concluded. Even with our bonuses. That's a really long time. Come, I'll come back to it with somebody who's better skilled. What's our highest skilled scientist? CT is already on his way back. I wonder how long that would take you. Where did you find that? Oh, look at it. It's a long route back. Scan a little bit more, let's see what we find. I know you get some cool stuff if you do all the scans for that, and if you find all the, uh, the precursor civilization. Uh, okay, we got it. We're up to 15 power, we got th almost 30 minerals coming in, which was one of our um, one of our bonuses. If we can get a little bit more minerals coming in. Uh, 
how are we how far are we over? Fifty one. I'd like to see how much damage that's doing to us. That should be hurting our what? Research, right? Imperial sprawls measured territory, blah, 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 blah. Uh, let's see. And will increase the cost of technology, traditions, leaders, edicts, and campaigns. We don't want to go too far beyond that. <sighs> I guess so. I guess so. We just need a little bit more minerals. How the planet's doing? Where are you guys at? You got three jobs? One job. Oh, you're almost there. Oh, you're almost. At 35, or what is it? What? How much more did you need to get this? 10? Yeah, you're almost there. You only need one more point. One more population, right? Eight, nine, yeah, two more. And then what are we gonna pick up? Probably. Do we wanna go for trade production or more power? Power, credits are endlessly useful. Clerks produce trade value and amenities. Or we could clear blockers. Anything worth clearing? Batharian fields, thousands upon thousands of valuable Batharian stones uh, glint like stars in the fields. Interesting. All right. Well, do need to get you more jobs. And I really want this to be like a power production house, so I'm going to get you one more of these power homes. Power fields, and go. And your population go way more. You get three jobs available still? Hmm. The special project has concluded. Yeah. What do we got? We can now get our hydroponic farms and hydroponic bays. Perfect. Now I know what we're going to be building on that planet. Uh, what do we want? Off-world trading company. Trade across interstellar distances. Hmm. It's cool, but we don't actually have anyone else to trade with yet. I haven't met anyone else. Farming subsidies. Let's see here. Resources such as influence. Uh, this edict provides aggressive economic stimulus for positive quantifiable impacts on food production. 20% food production across the board. Here's the technology that we got. Uh, um, whoa. Amoeba. Well, based on strong plans being printed. We can use them as strike craft. <laughs> oh, that is weird. Or regenerative hull tissue, but this will take almost 300 months. That's way too long. We need to get some actual research done. Let's get the farming subsidies. This will also give us 20% extra food just coming in in general. It's going to be great for our population growth. So that'll keep building on that population growth. Dimensional Portal has finally finished researching on Bastion. What is this thing? Uh, the portal of Bastion Prime leads to a dimension of pure energy, a small amount of which can be siphoned through a portal of our, for our own use. The procedure uh, used to handle uh, discrete packets of energy also have potential for the use of weapon systems. Plasma throwers and engineering gained. Also, uh, dimensional portal research will allow production of energy. Excuse me? Ex ex what? 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 Is it like a thing I have to build? Is it a power generator portal thing? Like, what is this? It said research. Band of gas mines, mineral purification plants, extra minerals for the jobs. There's our hydroponic farms. We're going to build those, just not on this planet. System survey concluded. Okay, pause for a second. It was it was just research that we can pick up. Is that what I? No, you're good. Plasma thrower weapon technology. That's an interesting way to get plasma technology. All right, back to automatic exploration for the survey speeds. Uh, was it you? No. I don't know. I don't know what that was. I should have uh, maybe read it a little bit closer. Or is it just like you crude it, you produce more power? It doesn't seem like it. You go through these slowly. We got alloy foundries, monuments, industry, commercial zones, gene clinics, 
Hollow theaters, hydroponic farms, luxury residences, mineral purification plants, resource silos, and strongholds. We can't get research labs. And we want to start producing way more research. Not a terrible idea. And we do have the power to run them. Swirling shadows, immense, ragged planes of shadow drift across Far Dawn 2's face. Uh, they are cast not by clouds, but by sheets of organic material drifting through the upper layers of the atmosphere, hinged or rather jointed to allow for small degrees of articulation. I don't really say yet what it is. The shadow play modifier to Far Dawn. Okay. Bizarre. Let's get our science ships moving about. Don't shoot me to your way up here. Let's get you moving. Survey this system. Construction ship, you're doing fine. Uh, where is... Kinda want the resources for this. It's gonna slow down our other. All right, last, last sector we're gonna build for a little while, all right? We're gonna claim this, get that extra power, get that extra research going in. Uh, and then we're gonna hold off on building for a little bit. Science ship, what are you doing? You still haven't found anybody? Havania, I want you all the way to the edge of the universe. Just keep going. I wanna know what's out there. And then I'll have you start scanning again. Construction completed. All right, you built everything there. I don't think there's anything left for us to claim. I guess far gone, we get a research station there. Oh, because you did that research, we're gonna get an extra uh, society research back there. Nice. I'll take it, I'll take it. Head over here, research this anomaly. Wait, there's another anomaly right here. Oh, that's what it was. We have to um, research in the area. That shouldn't take you very long. Bum, 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 bum. We can turn this back off. Oh, it was already off. Let's see what you guys find. All right, gigantic skeleton. Uh, what was previously thought to be an assorted mountain in the southern hemisphere of Fardon 3 has been identified as a massive skeletal remains of a single colossal life form. The bones date back 3.4 billion years old. Impressive. Situation log we have another thing updated. we can do. Anomalous Let's go ahead and research registered. it. We've got a new anomaly. Uh, scanning the star unveils a small object in orbit. Its small size and high velocity make it difficult to see. Yeah, go ahead and scan it. So with all of the bonuses that we have now to scanning speed, we're knocking out these anomalies really, really fast. Now, let's go back here. How are you doing on population? Are you at that point yet? No. Construction Pops at completed. 31. You need 35 to unlock one of these. What about our farming world? Bastion, you need a farm, a hydroponics farm. Uh, farmers produce food, blah, 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 blah. Farm jobs plus two. Why is this better than this? Housing plus two, farms plus two. Farmers produce food, blah, 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 blah. 12 food. We've got gene clinics, which will increase our our population growth. Hmm. And population growth may be more important right now than farming. Because I really want these to grow faster. It's still considered newly colonized, and it won't tell me when that goes away. I wonder if it'll never go away. All right. Um... That's what we're gonna do. We're gonna go for the gene clinic and get the plus 10 to population growth on the planet, I think. Uh, and then we'll do a farm. We also have our thousand food that we needed. Now, I'm gonna use that on the Galactic Republic because your growth rate is 7.6, or is 0.76 at the moment. Your growth rate is 3.79. Wow, it's way faster. I'm gonna pop this on Pandora and see how much it changes. I'm curious. So let's do decisions, encourage population growth, 
You are at 3.79. Uh, if we do the decision. Four point seventeen, not bad. We'll take it. Because Grand Republic was only at point seven six, so having that go up by twenty five percent wasn't very amazing. I want to keep dumping my food into that. Have the largest population in the galaxy is kind of the goal here. All right, get the research done. Get the extra power coming in. Let's get that knocked out and own that sector. Uh, who is that? That is the uh, Captain Clark of the Ishumara. And they're Gazanti. The little Republic logo on the side, I love it. I think the Empire uh, ship set actually gets those as well. Okay, so expansion going well. You've managed to reach our new society research planet site. Dismatch the archaeological project team. Special project is completed. After continuing studies of the massive skeletal remains found on Far Dawn 3, Science Officer CT-1995 has concluded that the creature served as some kind of organic starship. Oh, it's like Moya, but huge. Uh, much smaller bones. If you've never seen Farscape, that's where that reference comes from. Uh, from at least three separate species were found within the larger skeleton. Very cool. Uh, Far Dawn. Wow. Ah, oh, CT can't get any more ranks. That's too bad. But... Even better, uh, the construction ship is already there, so I'll just give the order to build the research stations now. That can turn into a pretty nice uh, society research zone. Very, very nice. Where's the rest of the fleet? You're done doing what you were doing there. There are hostiles in the area, but they shouldn't attack us anymore, right? Because you're all space amoebas. Passive survey. See what happens. Sorry if I get you killed, but I did all that research for a reason. Dang it. <laughs> I want to get this ship actually surveying, uh, scanning again. So we'll see. Head over this direction. Um, we'll figure out, we'll go into the Badlands with our science ship and uh, try to get back toward our territory and then start scanning territory down. Um, I was hoping to make contacts. So we could start building up a relationship with another alien culture out there. Maybe make allies at some point. Uh, we've encountered an alien vessel at, uh, Picus, wherever that is. Where, where is that? Oh, you, right there. Who are these strange life forms? A probability conundrum. We have gotten a report from science officer Do Regret. It seems that a ceramic container is cycling the star of Couturne. Uh, most peculiar. Uh, should we, let's, let's, uh, let's say it's worth, it's worth investigating. Go check it out. Go check it out. You're on the way. I'm hoping this has a route through. It looks like it will. And we can start scanning this way area over here. All right, unpause. Because I want more of these events to pop up. I'm getting a lot of resources from this. All right, what are all of our scientists doing right now? You're scanning this sector. I may have you backtrack and start working on the anomaly back there. Uh, you are on your way. Scratch that. New job for you. Go check out the precursor civilization potential here. We're gonna knock that research out. You keep cruising. Uh, oh, you know what? If we wanna make contact with whatever this is, this alien space station we've now come across, I love that they have their own sound effects. Um, I have to have a science ship in orbit for the ceramic. Special project. Research it. Let's see if we can make contact. Might be able to make a deal. See what that is. Mm, technology, how are we doing? So we paused our research on farming subsidies, which was just about half done, to research special project. Should be done in 11 months. It's not going to take long. Cool. Uh, we've encountered some form of alien vessel in the Safaban system. Really? Calling them the Gamma Aliens. Let's see what they look like. System survey concluded. Pause. What are you? Potentially hostile. Alien vessels. Don't know what they are. Uh, our ship making its way through. You are not on... 
You're on passive right now. I'm putting you on evasive. Evasive maneuvers. Yeah, get out of there. Get out of there. That could be bad. That could be real bad. Construction completed. I'm just gonna have you go and start scanning territory. Hmm. I don't know what that is. All right. Oh, are you serious? There's no way through there? Oh, bizarre, but okay. Guess not. Let's get you... Hmm. I kind of wanted you to go out to the Bandlands, but that doesn't look like it's going to be a thing. Sanctuary is the only way quickly through here, and that sure as hell not going to happen. So, all this territory is clear. <sighs> Let's start doing this. We're going to start scanning backwards. There's your orders. We have new traditions. Data uplink, research station output increased by 10%. Pretty valuable. Or we could go for research alternatives. You know what? I'm going to go with research alternatives on this. Because I want to see what cool stuff pops up. No other reason. Science ship, don't shoot me. You finished your job. Well done. Let's get you... How long is that going to take you to scan again? That was one of those gonna take it forever, right? 2,160. Level seven, hard difficulty. Wow, that is awful. Like, that is terrible. I have changed my mind. Go scan a couple more sectors. Hopefully you'll get another, another event and we can get you a couple of levels, because good grief. So much nope right there. Do we pull our science ship out of here? No. Research the project. Yeah, finish the project up. That won't take long at all. That's ceramic. All uh, right, you're doing good. You're doing good. Let time pass by. See what happens. How are the planets doing? Jobs are fine. You need to hit 35, so you've got four more population. But the Republic isn't growing very fast, because I think they're all leaving. <laughs> I think they're all, yeah, they're all immigrating completed. to other, their other worlds. What's going on here? Stability. Population approval rating has dropped. Why? Overcrowding? And low amenities and crime. Well, let's get you another city district then. That should start to fix that problem. Communication established. Uh, we are receiving a transmission from the independent space station of the artisan. Oh, you guys, okay, cool. A visitor, this is a joyous occasion indeed. Oh, forgive my manners. I believe introductions are in order. We are the artisans. Uh, our members have dedicated their lives to the pursuit of art, music, and culture. Interesting. So, I mean, let's make contact. Let's say hello. And we're no longer hostile to them, thankfully. We can actually pass through there now. Uh, you know, I think there was another hostile. Yeah, there was another hostile group on there. We can mission the art piece. Uh, we went to become your patron. What happens if you become a patron? They want a thousand power. Our unity will go up by 10% and their opinion of us will go up. Okay. What if we commission a piece of art from you? 600 power. Gain access to the art expedition, uh, ex exhibition monument. Amenity plus 15%, immigration pool plus 50%. Hmm, that's useful, actually. If we wanna get people moving without telling them to go places, we could, uh, that could that could be good. And bring in other elements from um, other empires if we get the chance. We'll hold back on that for now. We were gonna send a science ship through here. How are you doing on that investigation? 70% on the investigation. I'm probably gonna have you check out this precursor as well. I'm starting to think maybe we should invest into more scientists. Let me know in the comments if you guys think that's a good idea. Debating, not sure. Get a few more scientists and have them like spread out down south. What are you? Oh, are you another one? Do we just like find out where they all are? Nope, just the two. Weird. 
All right, let's check our technology. We're just kind of waiting for population to go up and for technology research to finish. Speed it up even more. Uh, a Voltam satellite, a small satellite, was found in orbit of New Norland uh, Fa, 7 Alpha. It has been set up to consistently repeat a message until the power source drained millions of years ago. We salvaged the transmitter. Main purpose of the satellite was apparently to preach the dominant philosophy to uh, neighboring solar systems. Special project issued. Curious. Go ahead and uh, research the special project. Only 180 days, that won't take long. And hopefully we'll get a little bit more in the way of like resources out here, which would be pretty sweet. You know, I want a little bit more research. Pick this up and we'll get the physics research. I know we're going over our uh, our sprawl, but it is what it is. Knowledge is the key to the universe. Automatic research is done. Fantastic, or uh, exploration is done. So, what do we want? Plasma throwers? Eh, energy grids could be good. Energy credits from technicians up 20%. That sounds amazing. Hmm. Yeah, that sounds pretty good, actually. 22 from districts. So we'd get a chunk. Down for it. Extra power, we could trade for stuff. And at this point, we could blow a little bit of our of our energy credits for food. All we need is about 550. And we could, let's do it, increase our population growth on another world. And I think it's gonna be Galactic Republic. Let's see, population growth currently at 7, 0.76, that sucks. They want more amenities. Hmm. What planets do we want to grow faster? You're at 4.4, .4, Bastion Prime, and I haven't even kicked off the thing. You are totally getting this. Uh, definitely, you are definitely getting this. Decisions, hey, encourage growth. It takes a month for that to update. I believe. Anomalous readings registered. And that should go up even farther. It's getting 1.9 from it. The special project has concluded. All right, what do we get? Uh, sensors pick up an unexpected activity from an isolated point in the Marcus Force surf. Yeah, do it. Uh, ooh, what did we find? We got another artifact and 150 in our engineering research. Cool beans. Not crazy amazing, but we'll take it. Uh, you're already researching that. Let's go down to fast real quick. Because the Ebon Hawk isn't doing anything. What are you doing? Nothing. Get over here and research this. How are you doing? You're still researching your ceramic object that's spinning around a planet's surface. So today is a bit of a, an imperial, imperial, a republic um, maintenance is all it is. We're growing. We're building up our economy. Uh, I was really hoping we'd make first contact with somebody, but it doesn't look like it's going to happen. Shockingly. And I'm really good. I'm going to do it. I'm going to order it up. Let me know if I should order another one on top of this one for the next episode. I'm going to order up another science vessel. We can always decommission these later. It just seems like the way to go. Maybe pick up a couple of warships. Let's see. The Exile. The readings originate from a small research outpost, which the Galactic Republic has no records of establishing or indeed authorizing the surface. Uh, is staffed as citizen, scientists. We had this in the last one. Uh, there is a problem with regards to the identity, however. We have been unable to match them against official state records. They refuse to identify themselves, save for stating that they are an exile. Interest in returning to the Galactic Republic and serve the Republic directly. On the condition that the Havania immediately depart Macrab for Alpha and no citizenship ever return there. Where is this located? Markov, way out here. The exile will join our leadership pool. Mm. 
I'm going to welcome them back. So they should have just joined our leadership pool, right? Who are they? I'm assuming scientist. Should be doing nothing. There's the exile. Rank three. Research speed plus six. Survey speed plus 30. Uh, I guess. I mean, you might not be... Well, we now have a scientist for the new science ship we just ordered. Perfect. We'll take it. Uh, yeah, no, it's fine with me. That works. That works for me. Construction completed. What do we have? Oh, we can finally upgrade this. Nice. Do it. So what does this actually change? This adds uh, unity and amenities. Oh, that's right. Somebody in the comments told me about this. This is how you get rid of the uh, 50 per, or the, what is it? The minus growth rate. Cool beans. So we should be growing the population even Construction faster. Construction completed. Nice. Good, good. I'm gonna give the order to go ahead and build an outpost here. Get it done. We're going over a bit, but it can't be helped. I also want those extra minerals. It'll put us just over uh, 30. And I think that's what we needed for the um, for the mission, for our promotion. For our new uh, political office. The Chancellor's position, that's the word I'm thinking of. Scanning. No, I guess the real question is what direction do we want to start expanding into? Our new science ship is done, fantastic. Exile, you're now getting, uh, becoming the captain of the humble. And I'm gonna send you passive, oops, passive. I'm gonna send you down here. I'm gonna have you survey the system that they're in. They shouldn't attack us. We spent a long time building up that, uh, that tank. completed. So that these damn space amoebas don't attack us. We'll see what happens. The special project has concluded. After almost giving up hope studying the uh, ceramic object for so long, we've reached a breakthrough. The object isn't really there, but rather a projectile from another higher dimension. Analyzing it as a shadow of a fourth dimensional object, we have accumulated enough data to decrypt the message. The object teaches us how to improve in all fields of research. For 240 months, we'll get 15% research. Eureka, that is amazing. Also, let's put a research station here in Malaboyne. Malabine? I'm gonna change it to Malaban. Science vessel. You're done, you're done doing the thing, huh? I know you got a long research here. I'm gonna just commit you to it. It's gonna take you forever, but that's what the Don't Shoot Me is gonna be working on. Good luck, Godspeed Spider-Man. All right, there we go. Kind of a chill episode today. Uh, I know we're pushing already on an hour in. Uh, a lot of research going on, a lot of expansion. Colossal Impact Crater, go ahead and do the research there. Uh, I am very curious in what direction do you think we should go, uh, particularly in expansion. We haven't run into any other empires yet. Uh, we're gonna continue to explore and send out more ships. Should we build another science ship? Should we go, like, this is the era of exploration in the Republic. Do we add more science vessels? And how many do we build? We've already got four reaching out into the galaxy. I'm kind of tempted to build more or, or use the current very low alloy income um, to start building out the fleet that we haven't had a reason to. No real military targets. We peacefully dealt with all of the, uh, the things that have popped up. And of course, well, sanctuary is a big old question mark for us at the moment. But, all right, guys, I will see you all in the next episode. Later, everybody.